Hello guys. I'm not sure if this is the best spot. Should I move over there? I don't know. It's fine. Um so anyway, um welcome back to my channel. The birds are really loud right now, but it's a beautiful day, so I film outside. Um in this video we are going to be talking about how Christians should respond in Pride Month because with school getting out in summer and all the exciting things that happen in June, June is also Pride Month. And yeah, a lot of people have been putting stuff on social media as companies on social media. Companies have been... Um, coming out with like, you know, clothes and stuff that are pride themed. Skittles, I guess has pride, I don't even know. But basically we are gonna be talking about in this video, how Christians could, should react because especially for me, like it's hard um, to know what to do because, so they're posting all this stuff about pride there's people that are posting stuff about it but then like as a christian do you post something because i feel like you can argue with these people with people who support that and it might not get you anywhere um but i feel like if i don't post anything then i'm like i don't i don't know so yes this is just and so, the things that people post often target Christians because of what we believe in. And I would just like to say that if there was a month, so like homosexuality is a sin. The Bible says it's a sin. If there was a month that was celebrating like committing adultery and like we would not celebrate that. It's not just because we are, it's not because we are homophobic, it's because it's a sin and we're not going to support that but that doesn't mean that we don't shouldn't still love everybody and treat everybody the same as galatians 5 14 says i bookmarked my battle with flowers today so yeah um galatians 5 14 says for the whole law is fulfilled in one word you shall love your neighbor as yourself um, so yes, we shouldn't, it doesn't say just love people that are straight. It says love everybody. Um, Matthew 7, 5, what does this one say? Oh yes, it says, how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye, you hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye and then you will clearly see well, you see clearly the speck out of your brother's eye. Wait, then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. So basically, what's that saying is that we can't judge other people for their sin and condemn them when we have plenty of sin of, on our own. Like, we are most definitely not perfect. We still have things that we could be working on. So we can't just hate and condemn those who are um, homosexual. And then Proverbs sixteen eighteen says, "Pride goes before just." I'll wait for the card pass. Hello, sir. Um, this is more towards people who say that God, that homosexuality is innocent. There are so many people, even Christians, who say that, and I do not understand that because it's in the Bible multiple times. Um. Also, one thing that just, there's so many cars. One thing that is just like immediately like red flag is that the month is called Pride Month and it's called Pride. And Proverbs 16, 18 says, Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. The Bible tells us multiple times that we are to be humble 
and pride is the opposite of that so why would we celebrate pride that's just just like and then leviticus 18 22 says you shall not lie with a man as with a woman it is an abomination so he's speaking to like Man, like, don't lie with a man as with a woman. Because, yeah. And for those of you who would say, well, that's in Leviticus. That was, like, the old laws. Like, they don't matter anymore. First of all, that's just, like, not true. There's that, but that's a whole other thing. Um, it also says in Romans one twenty seven. And the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another, men committing shameful acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. So that's pretty straightforward. I feel like that the Bible definitely says that homosexuality is a sin. Not to mention it, the rainbow is used to represent pride month and the rainbow was given to from god to his people as a promise that he will never flood the earth again and so it's just supposed to be like hope for christians that now is being used as to represent something that is very against god's word so basically what we can take from this is that number one Homosexuality is a sin. Number two, um, we should not hate those who are homosexual or who support those who are homosexual. Like, we should love everybody equally because we have faults of our own. And so when it comes to, I'm sure that sometime in your life, probably multiple times, you will get in an argument with someone about this or you will come across... A situation where you have to defend your beliefs in this and so those are just some good points to bring up and good verses to use there are so many more verses that you could find like on this topic in the bible on homosexuality about loving other people like and yeah you're never going to be able to change everybody's mind so the biggest thing that you can do is to just pray that you soften their hearts and that or that God softens their hearts and that they um, will come to know him and will change their ways. But yeah, that's just the biggest thing that you can do is pray and just continue to be a light for Jesus and not fall into what is popular in this world. So that pretty much concludes the video today. It is summer, so I'm going to try to put stuff up like three times a week, but don't like, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything, or if you have any prayer requests and because i understand that there might be people in your family who are homosexual or transgender or anything and it might be hard to tell them that you do not agree with what they are doing but we just need to remember to do it with love and yeah we will all be judged for our sin. And so we can use this time to focus on something of ourselves and make sure we are confessing our own sin as well. So yeah, thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Do you guys wanna see my sunburn? Look at my legs.